In this video, I'll do a quick rundown of the Layers window. To get to the Layers window, first tap the Timeline tab, and then hit this little arrow in the corner for the Condensed UI. We're not going to talk about the Animation window in this video. The Layers window gives you many tools for organizing and keeping track of your scene. In this window, you can create layers with this button here. You can make groups with this button here, and you can move layers with the up and down arrows. By moving them up to a group, you will group those layers. You can use the duplicate button here to create a duplicate of your current layer. If you have a long list of layers, you can scroll through them by putting your hand in front of your layers window and then using the up and down analog stick on your right controller. Or by dragging the slider here. By using the Merge button, you can merge layers down. With a group selected, you can choose to merge the entire group into one layer. You can delete layers and groups with the Delete key, and you can rename layers by either double-clicking a layer or by clicking the Rename Layer button here. The numbers in the Layers window correspond to the amount of strokes and the amount of tries of each layer. By drawing one stroke, you see I have one stroke and 406 tries. By adding more strokes, these numbers will go up. This is useful for keeping track of how big your layers are in your scene. You can use these buttons to hide, lock, move, or visualize your layers. You can use the opacity slider to adjust the opacity of your layer. The layers window is also where you want to go if you're importing images, models, or sounds. I'll explain this further in an upcoming video.